the level of opponent that you wanted for your next fight? Was there any any thought about that? Saying like, well, I don't know if that's who I want to fight. No, uh, Steve is in the UFC, and um, I was told by Dana White that they're the best in the world. So. <laughs> This is the last fight on that contract. Do you think that if you can win over Stipe, that it makes it all the more better for you into negotiations going in? No, I, I think win or lose, I, I, you know, I have fans and fans want to watch me fight and win or lose, I always bring it 100%. Um, I just actually just got the best compliment. Um, he said I remind him of the Mike Tyson era, where you never know what's going to happen with one punch. Going back to the contract stuff, I mean, do you do you want to be in the UFC after this? Is that is that your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to be where where, where people want me. That's I think that's the, my ultimate goal. I want to be where fans want me. I want to be where uh, management wants me. I want you know. At the end of the day, I'm here to you know provide a show for the fans and you know provide for my family. Is there, ever, is there ever a period in the UFC you feel unwanted? You know, with the Dana talk saying you're so effing smart. I mean, it's a little sarcastic. Is it? Is it serious? Is it back and forth? How do we gauge that? I. You know what? I. It's. It's kind of. I'm. I don't know. It's. It's kind of really hard for me to judge too, because I think uh, like we're just like fans mm -hmm. um, and ourselves, because I'm an MMA fan. Like one thing is one thing. You'll say one thing, and then another thing. You'll say another, and then it's always contradiction. So I have. I have no. I don't really put anything, you know, anything into it. Well, he basically insinuated that you're taking the Miocic fight to get that last fight off your contract. It was more of you getting in there, taking a guy for a loss, and then being able to renegotiate. I don't think so. I think um, the reason why I got Stipe was because they needed someone to sell out the, uh, the arena. And they put me on it. As soon as they put me on it, it sold out. So. How have the contract talks been going? Do you have something in place if you win this, or is it kind of all up in the air? I don't. I have no idea. I I, I, have, I have people for. I have. I have. Uh, what's what's that commercial? I have people for that. <laughs> you stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Exactly. Time. I got people for that. So that hasn't been a distraction at all. I mean, it's the first thing Dana talked about when he asked about this fight. He said, you know, Dana, 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 be like, I don't talk about money. I don't talk about money until they kick everybody out and then be like, well, that guy made no, da, 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 da. that guy. You know, it's like it's that like that would be the contradiction of. That's their business to tell you. That's their business. What you know, like, it's, it, it's, it's kind of just, it's, I really, it's one of those things, like, you could be like, um, like a former NFL player and be like, you know what, I made $20 million, but I'm worth $856 million, and because I bring in $2.7 billion or whatever it is, because that's the reason, you know, that's, I think that's where everybody gets kind of mixed up. It's kind of like, you know, when you work for, even on a smaller scale for a business, uh, and you're getting paid 30 bucks an hour, but you're, you're working for them and you're like an electrician, and they're charging $150 an hour. And you're like, that's 30, you're charging 150, it doesn't quite make sense. You know what I mean? So, I think it's, uh, and that business is a little bit different than ours, because without us, there there is no UFC. And there isn't like, you know, it's like having a rock and roll band, and without the band, you can't have a concert. What about a shirt you sent to Dana from them, speaking of clothing lines, did you get any response from them? Do you guys talk after you sent that to them? I, you know what, I haven't seen them since, uh, since the, the UFC 160, but it's, it's actually selling very well. Because yeah. a lot of people, you know, think Roy, Roy Nelson's the smartest guy on earth. Is that your idea, to make that? I mean, just get a he, out of what Dana said? He's the one that said it. I just thought it was freaking humorous and... It's the best compliment you know Dana's ever said to me. I mean, we got these like fighter conduct rules and like what, you're, what we're allowed to say. Uh, I think the president and like Lorenzo, you know that they represent. You know he represents the organization, so they're held to a higher standard. And that was the best compliment anybody can ever say. It's like your parents say.